Hey guys, what's up? Chillkex back with another video. Today we're taking a look at the Air Jordan 11 Retro of obviously the cool gray colorway, um, as you can read in the title. We're just a little late, just a couple weeks or a month. Um, but yeah, let's get into it, guys. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Uh, if you like the content, please uh, subscribe um, and, and hit that like button. Really appreciate it and it really helps me out. So let's uh, take a look at the box real quick. You can see the lid, Air Jordan, of course the Jumpman on the side. We just got a couple different colors of gray there. And uh, here we've got the, la the uh, tag with the color medium gray, multicolor multi, but obviously they're known as the cool grays. Um, Nike Air there on the box. My uh, basketball sneaker size of 12 and a uh, suggested retail price of 225 which luckily I did get these on release day. I've just been slacking. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. I'll take the lid off here. All right, so here they are out of the box. Um, they are a sexy shoe indeed. Uh, here on the outsole, like always, we'll start there. Uh, we do have a translucent, uh, and it is a with a blue tint to it, this translucent that helps with yellowing as they age, unlike earlier retros. Um, again, as they get older, as the time marches on, the old uh, ones used to yellow relatively quickly, and these will kind of keep that from happening for at least a while longer. Um, We've got our traction pods here in cool gray or medium gray, depending on if you read the box. Uh, and we've got our carbon plate, real carbon, and it does go all the way up into here and then in the back along here to help with the springiness and the toe off and, and when jumping. Um, these guys, so the Air Jordan 11 actually originally released in 1995. Um, but this colorway didn't come along until 2001. Um, and it's pretty unusual for a non-OG colorway to uh, become as popular as these have. These are pretty much nearly as pos popular as any uh, OG colorway on any shoe. And uh, it's, it's pretty cool, pretty unique. And it's retroed a couple times, but uh, I think uh, this is probably the best execution from what I've heard. Um, midsole, it is a Phylon, and it's got a, uh, a full-length, uh, what they considered full-length back when these were originally produced, air unit. Uh, it goes around the heel up here and then cuts off right around here back. And uh, back in the day, this was like as good as it get, got as far as tech and comfort. Um, it's got a nice little kind of textured pattern on the midsole here. The clear outsole wraps up over the toe. The quality on these, especially for Jordans, is quite good. Uh, a little, I think that's just from being in a the box there, a little scuffage, but I think, uh, yeah, that just went away. All right. Uh, we do have our patent leather, which is uh, real leather, coated and polished up, I guess you would say. That's not quite the right term, but you know what I mean. Um, we've got our 23 here on the back. Seems to be on there pretty good. Doesn't feel like it's about to, to come off like some of the older ones did. We've got our Jumpman, and if we look here on both shoes, they do go towards the front of the shoe on each, which is awesome and just looks right. Just looks correct. We've got our thick laces. They are a little stretchy almost, and they kind of feel or look like uh, basketball netting. Um, the upper, the main port of the upper that's not the, uh, the patent leather uh, is a suede, and it's actually quite nice. Um, it's not like the nicest suede I've ever felt, but for Jordan brand, it's, it's really quite, quite good. And the tongue in particular, you check that out there, it's really like... It's really actually, it's quite good. Um, 
We've got a nice low toe box here. It doesn't, it's not all bulbous and funky looking. This is like the perfect silhouette for an 11. Um, we do have our nylon straps, of course, coming across here. If I run my finger over the suede, it's quite short, so you're not really going to see a whole lot of, a whole, sorry about that shadow there, a whole lot of kind of like movement, but it's pretty nice in hand. Um, inside here, quality basketball products inspired by the greatest. I feel like I have read that before. Uh, yeah, of course, it's on most Jordan shoes. Uh, if we take the tr shoe tree out here, it is just cardboard. But hey, you got a jump man on there, so that's got to be worth something, right? Uh, the insole is polyurethane. Add some extra step in comfort. Pull that out. And you can see it's got decent arch support, but this is kind of a thin floppy floppy thing <clears throat> but in the shoe it kind of it rests up against there it gives you a little extra support of course we got our jump man size tag and again polyurethane foam if we have anything interesting in here uh, you're not gonna be able to see anyway just like a a foam last and then you can feel the airbag a little bit down below all right so that is the right shoe. We'll take a quick look at the left shoe for any imperfections or anything that's kind of not quite right. Uh, looking good. I might have the shoe tree pushed a little bit funny in there. Pull that out as well. There we go. All right, so pretty uniform in quality, which is great. This tongue without the backing, really, you can really see the natural kind of skin. It's kind of creepy to think about it like that, but it is, it is what leather is. Um, just looks really soft and plush. Um, so we do have a little bit of sloppiness here for sure. Looks like the adhesive got a little bit, a little bit wild, which I just noticed for the first time. Um, I think I might be able to get some of that off. So, yeah, that's coming off. No big deal, guys. No big deal. All right. Other than that, they look quite good. And, uh, yeah, this isn't going to be a super long review. Everyone is, knows about 11s, I guess. So let's check them out on feet, and then we'll get some on-feet impressions and uh, kind of sizing recap. Let's do it. All right, guys. So on feet, these are, they're pretty great, actually. They uh, they feel more comfortable step-in wise compared to my uh, Bread 11s from uh, 2019, the 2019 release. The, um, the polyurethane insole, I think, definitely makes a, it feel a lot squishier. And um, they feel like they're already broken in, uh, kind of in that sense. Um, the upper feels good uh the shape is great around your foot uh true to size as far as jordans go um they fit exactly the same as those other 11s and as uh the same as like the 10s that i have and that kind of stuff um so definitely say true to size um definitely looking forward to wearing these guys around pretty much all i do now is is go to work so uh we'll wear them at work it'll be great um Thanks for checking out the video. Um, I hope you liked it. Got a little bit more uh, insight on these bad guys.
bad guys? Let's go with bad boys. Let's go bad boys. I don't know what the hell I just said. Um, thanks. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Joe kicks out.